Hey, welcome back to Country Catholics. This is a shed that was on the property when we first moved in with our pretty barn there in the back. And we wanted to move it because of some things that we needed to move for the property and where water lines were and just making it more functional for our goats and our chickens and everything. So we're hoping at this point of the video, we're hoping that we can get the shed pulled forward down where my finger's at to the left of that little shed. Now this one straight ahead that's gray, we actually bought it an auction down the road. That was kind of fun and we had it hauled down the road. There's our pretty sunset each evening. So yes, this white shed is gonna go here on the left and it'll be perpendicular so that we'll have access on basically our north and our south side. Um, so there's power lines um, on the property that we have to watch out for and there's some power poles that are in front of me. You'll see what we did is from the electric companies actually have power poles that they a lot of times have that you can, they want to get rid of. So these guys that did our foundation work, they put two power poles underneath that shed, jacked the shed up, and then they used two mini excavator slash bobcat pole, those power poles, and direct and guide the shed along the path they chose. The whole process really only took about an hour and a half. I was shocked. And I didn't even have my camera ready when they got started. So um, they just pulled it and just kind of angled it. See, at this point, there's that gray shed. So they're turning it to then park it right next to that gray shed because we wanted them to be really connected so that we can have our chicken coop kind of protected on, on all sides there and those doors open up so we'll have access, like I said, in the north and on the south. One thing you might keep in mind is if you have electricity in your shed, if you're actually thinking about doing this, we did have electricity that ran to the shed. We had to have that cut properly and then we eventually were able to tap back into that with a new line in the new location. Fast forward and you can see it here on the right in this picture. At this point, they're just getting those power poles kind of secured so that the shed will be level. They um, left those underneath the shed. Then we added cinder blocks and other logs to make the shed level. Fast forward, and here we go. Not trying to highlight my awesome Toyota that, yes, has like 260,000 miles on it. Love that thing. But there's the barn. Remember that barn in the other video? And the old shed used to literally be right here on this side of that gravel. There was a fence line originally in between these trees. It's gonna kind of back you up and see what it looks like now where that shed used to be. It got moved this way and then over here. Voila! So there's the shed, there's the little chicken coop, which is, you might notice there is a fence here now. And so that, what we did is over there, you might remember there was the fence. So we salvaged all those boards and then we repurposed them and put them on this fence. Um, which I can do a whole nother video on fences, but there actually is four inch square panel behind that. I just put that up because I like the old country look of the white picket fence. So um, it actually never was there, but it kind of looks like it always has been. And that's kind of what I'm going for with this whole project. And yeah, then we have the wonderful eyesore here that has a transformer on it. Ugh. Look for that when you're buying a property. We did finished product. Yay.